page again. Uh, welcome to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today I am doing the fall home decor tag video. I was tagged by Tashi. Please comment down below if I completely butchered pronouncing your name. This southern slang, you know how that goes. I was tagged by Tashi Hogan's and I was just, I found her through Instagram and just started like binge watching her YouTube channel and I watched her her tag video and realized I was tagged in it. That's the moment you're like, people know who I am. <laughs> like I didn't even know anybody had tagged me so I was really excited to do that. So I'm going to read the questions here. There are 10 questions. If you know me, you know I love home decor and you know I love seasonal home decor, especially fall themed. So let's just go ahead and jump on into the questions. All right, first question is, when do you start decorating for fall? Um, let's see, the first, probably like the first couple days of September. I cannot wait until like the actual day that fall starts, like it's like 22nd, I think. So um, today is like, I think it's August 29th that I'm filming this. So I'm probably gonna start decorating within the next couple days. Um, so maybe before September 3rd, thirst, thirst. <laughs> September 1st so I've already been I've started taking out my own decorations I took down the decorations I had stored in the closet and in the attic so I'm starting to bring everything together so everything will start going out here shortly what is your fall style um, well my style in general is sort of like a rustic chic eclecticness like I really think it's a it's not completely farmhousey um, I do love farmhouse, don't get me wrong. I just think when I look at, when I compare mine to what I see on social media, it's not 100% farmhouse. So I'm gonna just sort of say rustic chic. Um, that's sort of my um, style meshed with my husband who is super rustic. So that's where we sort of meet in the middle. So probably my fall decorations is rustic chic as well. Uh, what is your favorite store to shop for fall decor? Probably Dollar Tree, um, but I love Hobby Lobby, like love Hobby Lobby. But I never buy anything unless it's on sale from there because if you do, you're completely cheating yourself. Don't buy anything at Hobby Lobby unless it's on sale. But I love Dollar Tree, especially for just seasonal stuff. Um, but you have to go early. As soon as the stuff goes on the shelves, go get it because everything will be picked over and you'll never be able to find anything decent. I'll definitely link my um, fall home decor haul video up here. Um, this question, how many pumpkins do you own? Well, that is like a crazy question because um, I can't even, I, I read the questions before I started and I like sort of roughly looked at my pumpkins. I'm a little embarrassed to even try to count and tell you how many I have because like I said if you've watched my previous haul videos and you've seen how many how many I purchased this just this year not even from past years I'm just gonna just say too many to count <laughs> do you decorate the outside of your home yes this year I want to do a little bit more I have a black thumb and I can't keep anything alive and this summer I tried I really really tried um, but I like to get mums and put those out in my big flower pots around my stairwell or staircase or whatever going up to my porch um, but I'm so scared I'm gonna spend the money and kill them so if you have any suggestions please comment those down below but I do a wreath um, some pillows in my rocking chairs I did a fall um, home tour last year I'll link that above so you can watch that in the meantime do you host Thanksgiving at your house yes I get Thanksgiving and my mama gets Christmas so um, since we live about an hour 10 minutes apart we try to um, split up the holidays so you know we can go back and forth and plus I really like decorating and I want people to see my decorations so I'm trying to have some more festivities at my house so people can see what I've done so I can show off just a little bit so yes we have Thanksgiving here what is your favorite fall food to cook I don't know I mean I'm the type of person that will cook something like all year round like I'll make a soup in the summertime and I know somebody's probably like oh my gosh it's too hot to be eating soup in the summer but I don't know it's just I've never felt like okay I have to cook this one specific item just at Christmas or just at this time but when I think of fall I think of Thanksgiving and one of my most popular things probably my um, cream corn recipe everybody loves that so we're gonna go with my cream corn if you want to see a recipe video on that 
comment down below so I can get that up for you guys because it is bomb.com. Okay, what is your favorite? No, wait, skip one, skip one, rewind. Will you be making any fall DIYs? Yes, and I am super excited. I started this past weekend. Um, I just got one of the, the DIYs finished. I want to do two more, so the video will have three DIYs in the one video. Really excited about it. I love making things. I've always made stuff, so this year will be no exception. What is your favorite fall candle? So I'm just going to completely go against the rules. I'm going to pick more than one candle. And um, the first one I'm going to pick is a Bath and Body Works candle, and it is flannel. Um, I wasn't going to be like everybody else, I guess, and pick Marshmallow Fireside <laughs> because literally, I think everybody that I've watched was like Marshmallow Fireside. Just about everybody I've watched. I like Marshmallow Fireside. I actually have it in one of my little candle sleeves now from last year and I got probably like this much left to burn so I'm like just trying to sort of get rid of it. Not that I don't like it, but I really love masculine scents, um, but I also love leaves. So it was in between those, but flannel girl flannel i love this because it's different from mahogany teakwood so if you're thinking okay it's probably just another one that's cologne smelling candles like mahogany teakwood it's very different um it says wrap yourself in a warm blend of bergamot polished mahogany and a soft veil of musk it's it's different it's got a sweeter scent to it, but it's got that fall scent to it. So I feel almost as if my husband and I are walking through the state fair and I smell his cologne and food and leaves crackling off the trees. I don't know. <laughs> but I love this one. This candle, I love this brand of candle. You can find it at TJ Maxx, which is where I found it. It is the DW Home Candles. Um, these si This size is normally, I want to say like maybe like 15 or 16 dollars and i think i paid seven for this and it burns for 56 hours approximately when it says this i really think it it's even double that because this is super horrible we'll talk about the scent after i tell you about this but one weekend i left a candle burning in our master bathroom and it was my favorite scent which is lavender chamomile go smell it i don't even like lavender but i love that candle anyway I left it burning we left on a Friday maybe or a Saturday I can't remember and we went home which I told you was an hour away we stayed there overnight and came back and when I hit the door when I walked up to the front door to put the key in to unlock I could smell the candle and I knew then I had left it burning and my heart was racing and I sort of came in the house and I was trying not to let Cody know that I had left the candle burning because I could have burned the house down so I run to the bathroom and it was still halfway like I had burned a couple times before that it had been burning all weekend and it was still halfway down and I was like this is ridiculous and it's so yummy this scent in particular is my all-time favorite fall scent ever like screw flannel leaves whatever i wish it was in they do have the containers that's like the three wick containers and it's fatter um but it doesn't burn as long it says 27 hours um but like i said they're probably lying because i think it's way longer but i just found that i get more even burning with this size rather than their larger one um, but these are really nice glasses that they come in. I love the ombre colors for fall. But this one in particular is called Apple Cider. They don't really, you know, sort of describe the scent. But it's got the warm pumpkin feel to it. Feel. Um, it's got the cinnamon, the apple. But it's just got like a depth to it. And you know I like the tree outdoorsy scents. And this has that. So... I love it and it smells just as good burning the throw is the bomb you can smell it all throughout your house so I love this one and the last question what is your favorite room to decorate in your home that's probably my living area because we just that's the room we're mostly in so that's where I put most of my decorations I do my kitchen and dining room that's probably about it Christmas I you know go throughout more of my house but so I definitely have to say my living room. I try to change out pillows, um, just seasonal, just decorations that I leave up sort of all year. I try to switch things out, my sofa table, different stuff like that. So I'd say my living room was definitely my favorite room to decorate. Okay guys, and that's it for this fall home decor tag. I'm going to tag, 
Hmm. Meg from Love Meg. Lori from Graceful and Lovely. Sean from Shawnee Boy. Um, Julia from Julia Hope. Maureen from Glitters and Grocery. Clara Slate. And also Piper Hampton. So I'll make sure and tag all of you guys down below. And I'll also tag you on Instagram. Just so you know that you've been tagged in this fall home decor tag video. Let's just get this fall season rolling. I am super excited. I am not one of those that's going to miss summer whatsoever. Ta-ta, summer. Bye-bye to you. Hello, pumpkin spice earthing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a beautiful and blessed day.